Good morning, everybody. I'm so happy that you joined me today because we are going to make this casserole that is so yummy. My family likes casseroles. I don't have a whole lot that I make. You know, we made the squash casserole, the asparagus casserole, and we have King Ranch casserole that we like. But whenever I saw this, I thought, this sounds so yummy and easy to make. And so um, I believe that the woman's name was Miss Daisy. And if I'm wrong about that, I'll try and find out and correct it. Now, we have a very famous chef in Middle Tennessee, Miss Daisy. She has, um, she's been here for a long time, and everybody just loves her. She's a wonderful chef. But this is North Carolina's Miss Daisy. <laughs> so what I did first was I took a half of a large onion and cut it up, and then I just sauteed it enough so it would have a little bit of color. I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan, and then I'm, t I'm browning, as you can see, I'm trying to get the angle where you can see it better, um, two pounds of hamburger meat. And so um, I think that's what I liked about this casserole was that it had really just good staple <laughs> ingredients. And, you know, if you are going to a potluck supper at church or friend's house and everybody's bringing a dish, you will love, they will love this, so you need to try it. Um, I am um, so excited to see all this, my Miss Daniel's Kitchen family this morning. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for following my page and, and leaving me all those comments. So, oh, I was going to show you this little tool. Now, this is a tool that you get to... Um, kind of mash things, but for ground beef, it is perfect because it makes it into in crumbles more than rather than patties, and it really works. I have enjoyed. I don't have a huge amount of tools because I just don't have space to store them all, but I love this one, and I think you're going to love it too if you want to get it. So you see, all I did was ground. Um, brown the ground meat and then use this little tool and it's perfectly um, a perfect consistency right now. So y'all forgive me just a minute. I'm going to run over to the sink and I'm going to drain the um, liquid off. Okay, here we go. Thank you for letting me do that. Um, so here is our ground beef, and now I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. You know, for every, this is two pounds, but I'm going to add a little salt to the other ingredients too. For every pound of meat or chicken, you are supposed to um, season it with one teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. That's the ratio that's the best. And then I'm going to add my onions back. And then I'm going to add, let's see, let's get those stirred up in here really well. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a can of cheddar cheese soup. Now, if you don't like cooking with soups, I mean, I always have, so I'm going to. <laughs> in this recipe, it's just yummy. Um, I guess you could add just cheese to it, but it would really need to be creamy. And so then I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. Now they actually have healthier versions of this soup now. If you want to get that, if you if you uh, if your family you know, needs that, then you can get the ones that have a little bit healthy requests. I think it's what they have on them. And so then I'm going to mix this in really well. And you can see how it's going to be so creamy. You know, every casserole, casseroles are just great because you can bring them to someone if they need a meal or if they just had a hard week. <laughs> you can make it for yourself, your family, if y'all have had a hard week on the weekends. Um, but they just, I don't know, they just touch you in such a way that they're so comforting. 
And uh, so it needs to, casseroles need to have some kind of meat, if it's, some, if it's that type of casserole, and some creamy sauce and some veggies. And so um, this actually doesn't have a topping. I'll show you whenever we put it together. But the ground beef kind of acts out like the topping. And um, it's just so yummy. Honestly, I saw it and I thought, I'm just going to try it and see. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I'm so glad that I did because this is going to be a keeper around here for sure. So you see now it's all in, uh, in mixed together really well. And next we're going to load up the casserole dish. And I'll show you the rest of the ingredients and how we load it up. I'm going to move my camera. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so now we're going to uh, assemble our casserole. So the, the bottom layer is cabbage. So I'm just going to put my cabbage right down on the bottom layer. And you need to treat your casserole dish with either um, butter or vegetable spray or something because you don't want it to stick and you want it to be easier to clean. And I'm going to layer each, uh, I mean season each layer Whenever I cook cabbage, I use celery seed. And so I put a little celery seed, tiny bit of salt, and a tiny bit of pepper, just about a half a, about a fourth of a teaspoon. And then you add your potatoes. Now, you can add red potatoes. I have, I happen to have baking potatoes, so that's what I'm adding. Here they are. <clears throat> and my mama left skin on her potatoes. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, there are a lot of vitamins in the skin. You have to be really careful and make sure that they haven't been treated with a chemical, of course. But um, if you buy from someone that you trust or a produce stand that you've gone to a lot, then I think you'll be good. So you can also use um, red potatoes, like I said. I don't know if little potatoes, those little cute little potatoes would work in here, but these will work just fine. So, then we're going to add our meat. And so, this is kind of heavy. I'm going to get um, a big spoon. And just lay it. Oh, you know what? I said I was going to season every layer, didn't I? So, let me very lightly season with salt and pepper. Just very lightly. So, on the bottom, cabbage. On top of that, potatoes. And on top of that, our, our uh, beef mixture that has onions in it and um, cream of mushroom soup and cheddar cheese soup. So then you just add your meat, excuse me, to the top. I think maybe one of the reasons this casserole is so good is that um, of all this beef, I mean, <laughs> it's just so Wonderful, and I'm telling you, you bring this to a potluck at church and you're going to be the most popular person there because everybody just loves it. Okay. A little bit more. I actually have, I'm probably going to have to make two, another little casserole. I usually make this in a larger rectangle dish, but you have to cover it. And um, I got, I didn't get any like sheets of <laughs> uh, Reynolds wrap. I got those little <laughs> sheets that you kind of use to bake potatoes. So it wouldn't fit on my other pans too well, baking dishes too well. Okay. So here we go. We're going to put it in the oven. Like I said, at 350, we're going to cook it for 50 minutes covered. I'm going to cover it. And then we're going to take the top off and cook it for 10 more minutes. So it's an hour total. So y'all, we'll be right back in about an hour, and I'll show you how delicious this casserole is when you bake it. Hello, everyone, all my sweet Miss Dana's Kitchen family, here is our delicious casserole. And I think you can see it pretty well. And sure enough, the ground beef does make the topping kind of um, textured. <laughs> so it'll be perfect. Look at there, y'all. Oh, 
My kitchen smells so yummy. So it is spoiling hot, but I'm going to try and get a little bit of a taste. <clears throat> so remember the ingredients are ground beef, two pounds, cabbage on the bottom, potatoes on top of that, onions and ground beef, cheddar cheese, and cream of mushroom soup. Um, mixed in with your ground beef, and then bake it at 350 for 50 minutes covered, and then take off the cover and bake it for 10 minutes more. And here it is. And you can see this is going to feed a big family or a crowd. Perfect to bring somewhere if you need to bring a dish. So, hmm. It's still really hot. But y'all, you can actually taste every layer. It's just delicious. So I hope y'all make it and share this video and have so much fun. Bon appetit, y'all.